Look who I bumped into! A Midnight Ranger! Ah, Rover. You're finally here. So you're the Rover, huh? Delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Yuhu from Jinzhou. Like Mr. Chunpi, she's an expert in antiques. That's me! To uncover clues about hidden antiques, of course. Since Mount Firmament reopened, Master and I noticed artifacts from there popping up in the market. Aside from Court of Savante gadgets, there are still plenty of mystery items that don't exactly scream Mount Firmament, you know? So... So I'm betting they're from the port city of Guishu. Yes. I remember you mentioned wanting to learn more about your past ties to the Black Shores. The battle in Norfolk Barrens is over, and the Black Shores should be withdrawing. But they've asked the Midnight Rangers to monitor the area around the port city of Guishu. I thought this might be your chance to gather more information about them. Huh? Y you, uh, brought it up before. Aw, oh, Yang Yang's got a soft spot for you, huh? Are you her special someone? Oh, come on. I... I just know it means a lot to you. Relax, I'm just teasing. So, you're tracking the Black Shores too? Since we're on the same trail, how about teaming up? Let this master be your guide. You and me, dream team. Nothing's gonna slow us down. Not to boast, but epic adventures tend to have a way of finding me. Since Rover's here, let's talk to that Bloom Bearer first. <gasps> That's weird. These parameters are correct, but nothing's happening. What's going on? Yes. Need something? Oh! Uh, so, you're the one Alto invited earlier. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. Golden Pupils and this Blake Bloom. Yeah, it's you, all right. I'm Nia, a bloom bearer from the Black Shores. Didn't expect to meet someone as important as you under these circumstances. I know it's unusual, but... Could you help me out now that we're working together? Really? But Uncle mentions you'll be joining soon. Actually, we're monitoring abnormal parameters and detected a problematic frequency that needs to be taken back to the Black Shores. The port city of Guishu was decimated by the lament. If this frequency goes unchecked, it could trigger another catastrophe. Yes, that's why the Tether system sent us to locate and recover this frequency as soon as possible to prevent a potential disaster. Our agents relayed the coordinates, but... Since then, I've lost contact with them, which doesn't sit well. I'm stuck here monitoring, can't leave my post. Do you think you could help check out what happened? If things aren't looking good, we might need to inform Jinjo City Hall, like we did before. They'll need to act fast then. That's the worst case scenario. If we contain the frequencies that Tether's system advises, nothing bad will happen. I want to help her. As an outrider, it's my duty to safeguard the peace. Thank you. It's reassuring to have a Midnight Ranger with us. I'll send you the coordinates of the abnormal frequency. Could be the reverberations or something in the sonorospheres. In Solaris, frequencies can be anything. One thing's for sure, though. This frequency represents gravity. It's abnormal because it has its own gravitational center. 
you should be able to feel a palpable anomaly near it. That's how you can locate it. I trust you'll handle it smoothly, but remember, your safety matters most. Don't hesitate to retreat if you run into any real danger. And once you're back, we'll hurry to the Black Shores to upload it to the Tether system. Oh, I forgot you haven't been to the Black Shores, have you? No worries. I'll be your guide then. I sense the presence of tacit discords below. What's the big deal? Just some pawns. I won't even break a sweat. Something feels different about them. Be careful. <laughs> Survivors, quick! It's too late. So there the agent Snee was waiting for. What happened here? This is my name. I once lived under it as a bloom bearer. Remember, remember it all. 
No, no. They want you to become a part of them. I can't let it happen. Run! Run! What you seek is on the girl. She has it. Ugh. What does any of this have to do with me? Where did it go? No, wait! Don't go over there! The remaining frequency there is in extreme chaos. It's dangerous. Hold on! Hey, what's happening? It's starting to glow! It must be from the Black Shores! Look at this! I need to learn more about this thing. My master and I guessed it's from the Black Shores, and now it looks like we were right! The abnormal frequency definitely links to the deaths of those bloom bearers. Now it's hiding in this object, but I can still feel its strong attachment to the Black Shores. Solving this issue is beyond our capabilities. Besides, they also mentioned Rover and the fall of the port city of Guishu. We should meet with that bloom bearer first and explain the situation. This is best left to the experts. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. Port City of Guishu must hold secrets waiting to be discovered. The wandering traveler. At last, you have returned. Here, the story both ends and begins anew. I am pleased to see you back on these shores. Wherever you venture, be it Huanglong or Rinesita, I will always be here, waiting. No matter how far you wander, you will always find me here, on these black shores. Leave it to me. <sighs> Cherish every gain. so thick. I can't even see you. Because you're at Veiled Rock. 
Your vision is veiled. Now, how about explaining what brings you here, uninvited guests? W what? Is it really you? No, no, don't lose my dream. <laughs> At last, you've come to me, to the Black Shores. Precisely. But how did you manage to get here? I see. <sighs> the situation doesn't look good. That Hoda might not be one of us. But I'm curious. Could I have a look at that item the antique dealer gave you? Huh. Didn't expect to see it outside Mount Firmament. A monitoring register. We Black Shores members place these around the world to keep an eye on the Sentinels. If anything happens to them, we'll know immediately. Hmm. Looks like it was also used to record abnormal frequencies in the port city of Guishu. Maybe the Tethys system has a soft spot for you. But without more details, I can't say for sure. Since your arrival, has anything unusual caught your eye? A person in light blue. Huh. Could it be the shorekeeper? Yes, the elusive guardian of the Black Shores, who is said to be always watching our true leader, shielding us from danger. It seems you've had quite the encounter. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who at the destined moment, will arise to save and guide the Black Shores. Fantastical or not, that's all we've got to go on. Hmm, there must be a reason she went to such lengths for you. Ahem, <clears throat> anyway, let's not get carried away. We should head to the greenhouse. The abnormal frequency you collected needs to be uploaded to the Tetha system as soon as possible. In order to avoid another lament in the port city of Guishu, given that we've already lost enough of our own to it, we need more bloom bearers to handle this. As for the information you're after, it's already spread this far. Seems like the Tethys malfunction is getting worse. We need to hurry. Time is one luxury we do not have. Let's save the rest for the road. Tom's dead? Don't worry, it happens a lot around here. The Black Shores sits atop a massive tacitite, wreaking havoc on standard communications. Once you reach the greenhouse, you can pass them in near a beacon. Only our beacons can cut through the tacitite's interference. directly linked to the Tethys system. Their voice frequencies are encoded into languages we can understand. If you think about it, they could be considered a unique living race of their own. As
As for the Tethys system, imagine it as a supercomputer. The Black Shores relies on its calculations to observe, forewarn, and solve anything lament-related. Anyway, let me introduce you to Koo Money. They manage the cash flow and keep tabs on robot terminals across the region. They're the shrewd profiteer of the Black Shores. Easy there. Let's get back to business. The recent quake stirred up Tacitite's interference. How's your underground connection holding? Huh. That's comforting. Hey, you can give the abnormal frequency to Kumai. They'll handle the upload. How's the upload? Already sent the data back to Tethys? The Tethys system has been shaky lately. You've noticed, right? What's worse, along with the data, we've received some terrible news. The bloom bearers we sent to the port city Guizhou. We lost them all. Since you're linked to the Tethys' data bank, can you check if there's a bloom bearer named Hoda registered? She might have something to do with the deaths of our people. Says Mr. Cheapskate. <laughs> That's not fair. You've never given me that much before. <laughs> Money is right. Just in case, the Tethys system is very likely to send out a warning to Jinzhou about an imminent lament in the port city of Guishu. As for Hoda, if she's a bloom bearer, there should be a record of her in the system. And if such a resonator existed, the Black Shores would definitely know. Hold on. Huh. There's another possibility. Yeah, that's one possibility. Not to worry. If the machine route doesn't work, there's another way. Let's go to the greenhouse. Most of us like to gather there, and Monica, our chief administrator, is stationed there as well. Hey, what's in your mind? You ever play those RPGs? Each character's got a backstory, right? Well, these robots are no different. The Tethys system gives them all their own personalities. Take Koo Money, for instance. Tethys programmed it to be a crafty dealmaker. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll come across a robot you really click with. Once you're ready, we'll head over to the greenhouse and meet Monica. Alto, there you are. And this is... The rover just arrived! He's the one we invited earlier. The mysterious resonator who appeared in Jinjo. So you're the resonator who confronted the Thronodian. I honestly didn't expect to meet you in person. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit carried away. My name's Monica. The chief administrator, or <laughs> housekeeper, around here. I was supposed to show you around, but things are quite hectic right now. My apologies. You heard about what happened in Guishu, 
right? Yes. We received word from Jinjo City Hall about their actions. We also alerted them to the Tethys system's likely warning of a potential lament in the port city of Guishu. The data you brought back has been uploaded to the system, but as you know, Tethys has been unstable. So the problem isn't solved. Exactly. We need Tethys functioning normally to fully resolve this. But retrieving the abnormal frequency was a significant step forward. Those bloom bearers didn't sacrifice themselves in vain. It could have been much worse if they hadn't risked their lives to transmit the coordinates back to Nia. And thank you for risking your life to retrieve the data. What's the current situation? Efforts to stabilize the Tetha system are underway. Good to hear. By the way, since you deal with all our contacts, does the name Hoda ring any bells? She claims to be a bloom bearer. Hoda? No, I don't recall any bloom bearer by that name. Why do you ask? So this is related to that abnormal frequency. Maybe. She's a traitor. That theory doesn't hold water. Not only are traitors incredibly rare in our history, they're all documented. And there is no record of her in the system. Was she trying to mislead us? Hmm, that's strange. Because we just added you to the recruitment list recently. Yeah, she's quite the mystery. Monica! Can you try to gather more info about this Hoda for us? Of course. If it concerns the security of the Black Shores, it's my job. <sighs> if this person was truly residing in that abnormal frequency, she could be responsible for those deaths. Damn it! We've been tricked! We just fed it back into Tethys! Careful! Well, looks like she's made herself at home in Tethys. I'll check with Ku Money to assess the current situation underground. We need to do everything in our power to protect Tethys from any harm. Could you please accompany Alto to the greenhouse? We need you to find the Kuwata robots. Also, ensure the modulation device in the greenhouse remains secure. <sighs> I'm sorry. You were meant to have a pleasant time here. When the dust clears, I'd like to formally welcome you to join us. Yeah.